Guys, I won't be able to watch the stream for a week. I'm going to college. Can I just say that I love that for you? Have fun at college. If I could give you some advice for college, it's, maybe it's not going to be that popular. Or maybe it is. When I think back to college, I don't have... I, I'm not one of those guys who's like no regrets. Because I think that's just... Every, if you live life properly, you have to make choices. Those choices put you on a path that closes off another path to you. There's no way to make a perfect decision looking forward. You can only make perfect decisions looking back. I think it's very normal to have regrets. It doesn't mean you have to be like, oh, they ruined my life, but you can have regrets and use that as an opportunity for like learning and, and personal growth and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't trust a no regrets Andy, okay? My regret from college for sure, even though I had a good experience, I wish that I went to class more and studied more. I still graduated, I never failed a class, graduated on time, graduated with honors, but I basically, at the time, four years of concerted effort seemed like that's a Herculean task. You're like, oh, that's a, when you're, I went, I started undergrad when I was 17. So I was like, that's a quarter of my life to like, focus on one goal, something I had never done in my entire life before. That seems crazy. Looking back, the rest of your life is probably going to be like working hard. You, it, if anything, if you work yourself hard in college and still have fun, don't get me wrong because you can't avoid it. But if you work yourself hard in college, you'd probably set yourself up to maybe either work a little less hard as an adult over the next 35, 40 years, or be more comfortable with the work that you're doing, you know? I wish that I went to class. There, there were some times where it was like, you know, we'd throw a rager on Wednesday, and then I wouldn't wake up for my Thursday morning classes. Mom, dad, don't listen. I think that's totally fine. But then there were some times where I just played Civilization Four until like 3 a.m. and then just like didn't even set an alarm for my lecture. Now, those ones, I could have gotten five and a half hours of sleep, gone to the lecture, done better, and maybe not left myself in like an educational no man's land where I was like too book smart to have people offer me blue collar work, but not good enough grades to suckle at the teat of academia for the rest of my adult life. There was, I, I mean, I went to class, but there were definitely some classes I skipped for no reason. And then there were some classes I skipped for good reasons. So true, too smart for the dumbs, too dumb for the smarts. I, well, that's the thing, and I don't even mean this to be like uh, braggadocious to myself. I think I was smart enough for the smarts. I just didn't work hard at the time when I should have worked the hardest. Yeah, but now you're doing well as a streamer. Yeah, but it's like, I think it's backwards to attribute that to like anything but pure happenstance. <laughs> like that was a miracle. That's like saying I regret, you know, not studying in university because it, it was like a missed opportunity. And you're like, yeah, but you won the lottery. Yeah, but those two things don't have anything to do with one another. How's your locus of control? It's pretty good. I had a good weekend. I spent a lot of time at the playground. With or without your kid? With my kid. <laughs> Except for like an hour, she got lost, but then I found her. I'm joking. You being a DJ in university paved the way for your banter? No, here's the thing. You guys are underestimating me. This is enabling a, a weak attitude. I could have dj in university Still gotten a lot of funny stories, built my own character, and then also gone to lectures, like, you know, more often. I have friends in university who were degening right alongside me, got great marks, graduated, got their master's, graduated, got a PhD, now they work in private industry. Probably have the too high security clearance, that's why they don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> degen and getting a master's? Every th I, listen, again, this is, you want to talk about streaming, like, or streamers not knowing anything? I'm like the perfect definition. I'm just at least self-aware. I didn't get a master's, but all my friends who got a master's told me that the master's was like the easiest part of university. 
getting a PhD is, is really hard. Getting your undergrad degree is like, you know, can be somewhat challenging. But getting your master's is just sort of like showing up and helping out with lab work and, and TAing. And then two years later, they're like, here's your master's. That's, that's just secondhand knowledge, okay? I didn't get a master's, so I don't know. But I could, right? Like, is, from med school, it's like if you want to apply to med school when you're like 22 years old, you have to have like the highest marks in your class. You have to, you know, ace the MCATs, all that stuff. But then like as a mature student, don't you just have to like be 30? <laughs> I thought that was anytime I saw like uh, the requirements for getting into uh, an advanced degree, it was always like if you're 19 years old, you need to be like a, a aspiring astronaut or alternatively, if you ran a bakery for 11 years, you're in. That actually is pretty true for med school. Dude, let's go. <laughs> New IRL stream, I go to med school. Bro, penicillin is like literally OP. Sorry, I'm trying to do my impression. What's funny is I do an impression of talking like a streamer, but I already talk like a streamer. But people keep plus twoing it for, for reasons unbeknownst. <laughs>